Hey, 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 hey. Okay, guys, I'm back. And um, I just really wanted to talk about some things. Right? Um, see, like, where we found ourselves at in our existence here in humanity. And listen, I talk about everything. Like, I talk about really what's going on in the world and it's like i told you guys before because like if you look at my artwork and you look at like the tone that i try to do especially like on some of these separate videos that i do like when i'm giving information and stuff like that it just starts seem, seeming like okay well butterfly like you getting off into this area to where it's controversial as far as dealing with race identity lineage diversity and all that and i say yes even though, listen, y'all, I got some some people that people that come talk to me all over the world, but majority of the people that connect to me is like people that understand that I do what I do for a purpose, and that that's all they really have in mind. That's what they really want. They they got they want purpose in their life. They want purpose in this world. That's what I'm I'm here for. Okay. And because of that, I kind of feel like this. At the end of the day, I am who I am, though. And although I'm aware of the fact, like, when you come into the spiritual realm of things in the spiritual world, you know, y'all, y'all know how we get down. Y'all know how they get down. It's all about being one because we all come from one. And it's about love. And it's about understanding. And it's about, you know, building off of that, which is absolutely 100% right. But it's like we're never really active in being one of those warriors and one of those soldiers, though, that actually is like foot on the ground making that happen. We always become just like the guiders. That's fine. But I've realized that I'm one of those people, though, that come from the place to where I'm actively trying to do work and I'm actively trying to do things, actively trying to wake people up, whatever, and and that recall that requires me being physically available to do so that requires me to kind of like break down into these different groups and i'm telling you that it hurts me it burdens me to know that anybody anywhere is struggling because we have that across this world but it also hurts me to know, like, how do I know the truth about something? And how am I able to move on with something and move on and be all about this love and stuff like that? When my people, like people that look like me, okay, or come from that lineage or whatever, don't even know themselves. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm passionate about. That's where I find my identity in life. And that's okay. Like, how do I go on? Can somebody tell me? Without people that I know. And no, you can't save everybody. But literally, literally guys, this is what's going on. L listen to this. Listen to this. I'm not in the business of saving anybody, really, or saving everybody. I'm, I'm in the business of waking people up so they can save themselves. You hear what I'm saying? Like, think about this for a second. I always tell y'all to think about stuff. Think about this for a second. They're, like, we talking about some heavy stuff here that people don't really want to face or they don't get to face or they don't know how to face. How do I, if this is all about truth and moving forward in truth, to get justice for us to all come together. We can't do that off of a false foundation. Though. We can't do that off of lies is what I'm saying. And my whole thing is. How do I know the truth about something? I don't know. Maybe I don't know everything that there is to know. But the little that I do know that registers to me. How do I not help free the other people that have been taken advantage of, misled, misguided by this false information. How do I do that and then say I'm moving forward in the truth? And the truth is this. Like I said. The reason why we can't move forward in relationships, 
wealth, heritage, ancestry, have you want to put it, is because we do not truly know ourselves. We don't even have an identity. Okay. We don't even know what that identity is. We're, we're dishonoring what that looks like without an identity, without a nationality, without an understanding of who you are at the core. You can't teach your children anything. You can't really teach your children about their identity, about who they are, about what they should value, about what they should treasure, about respect that they're supposed to have and anything about their ancestors or the lineage of that because you don't know it. So we're going to keep getting repetitive cycles of abuse, okay, misinformation, we're going to keep getting disrespected, we're going to be keep getting disregarded, we're going to keep disrespecting ourselves and bringing on further disrespect. And listen, I get it, because I know a lot of you guys are saying yes, but I don't understand that, like... People know when they're treating somebody wrong. People know when they're treating me like this or you like that. People know, people know, people know. And I once again beg for you guys to understand that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about what people know or don't know. It stops when you know. You get what I'm saying? When you know and you do something different. I tell you, because, like, my sister used to tell me all the time, like, when she's in situations, and I used to think like this myself, and, like, she'll have somebody do something dirty or foul to her, and she'll say, you know what, that's not right, though. Like, I would never do that to them. I would never think about doing that to them, and there's lots of stuff that I can say that's hurtful, and I don't. And you know what I always tell her? I'm like, but they not you, though. And anytime you're approaching any situation and you keep looking at it from the place of what someone else, you're going to do what you do according to what someone else does and they don't do this so you don't do that, you're going to get screwed over every single time because you have to understand that you can't put yourself in somebody else's shoes and somebody else's understanding to say what they're going to do and what they're not going to do. I make that distinctively clear. Even in the readings that I do for people, you it's impossible to do. You're not going to be able to do it because, you know, it only changes. The magic happens when you know what you're not going to do anymore and what you are going to start doing and how you see yourself. That's when the magic happens. That's when change can truly come. Other than that. You don't get that change. You don't get that happening. You 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 can't because universally we're we're going beyond people now. We're going to our soul being, our soul essence, and what that looks like beyond our plane of physical plane of existence. This is where we're going to now. Because now you got to understand. You start digging into the fact that as above, so below. Okay, you start digging into that. And when you start digging into that, you see the direct connection and correlation that your physical existence has to the ethereal. Your existence on the ethereal plane. And this is my thing. Whenever you go, you're trying to get rid of cancer. You're trying to get rid of any physical ailment. You you can put medicine on it all, like on top of it. You can try to cut it out. You can try to do this and that. And then that's why some people see the cancer regrow or whatever. You know, because you have to really get down to the core of what's causing that cancer. If you don't know how you know to treat it. Even the people that go and get some type of radiology or something done. Still, if they didn't even know that, how do they go and get that? How do they know what procedures to get done? You get what I'm saying? Like, if you, even if you want to be simple about it. So, you're never really solving the problem. And I'm here to say that you got to get to know yourself. Like, you guys have to put yourself, get familiar with and comfortable with researching, reading, looking into information. And like for some of you guys, if you want to contact me through email, because you have information to give out and you know how to properly like align the information, give people the resources that they need and everything. I'm a channel to do that through. Okay. I want you to know that. But 
still when all is said and done okay this is urgent i feel like this is urgent because we are at a time where the earth is trying to rid itself out of the lies the misinformation the just purging itself and it does it through extreme weather it does it through whatever means that it has to do it through and it's like either you you lighten up like you enlighten yourself you evolve or you got to get with it or you got to get gone you're not gonna see any fruits of your labor reproduce like that you're not gonna see you're not gonna be able to get past what you're choosing or you're failing to not deal with and everybody gets so stuck like in the hype of well love this love that am i gonna have my love of my life and they get caught into the disney routine and episode and all that you know what disney failed to show you though you know what disney failed to show us disney failed to show us that it's life after the princess or the queen runs off with her prince and king And because you were so caught up in Disney, a Disney movie or episode, you forgot to look, to, 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 to manage the crops, okay, to soil the land, to teach your children. <laughs> you know, you forgot your very identity because you were sold a dream while you were sold a dream everything that you that meant something was taken taken right from up under your nose was taken from right from up under our nose through an imaginary lens a potion almost that's what i call it i call it a potion because you doing magic on me you know what i'm saying i say that because it's like how do you wake up century hundreds of years later in a daze to like what happened like what happened You know, it's because you were sold a false sense of reality. And let me tell you something. They do that in the movies all the time. Hollywood, listen, listen, listen. Everything that was real, that already existed, was taken and it was movie. It was made into movies. It was falsified, falsified documents, okay, through the putting together of false imagery and reselling history, repackaging it. <laughs> and see, my ancestors, though, my ancestors don't got hatred hatred because of that. My ancestors is like, no, like, we, we got to get this straight. Like, you got to be one of those vessels that come through and you got to talk that talk. You get what I'm saying? You got to walk that walk. Regardless of if like everybody else is getting on board with it or not. And I just come with the facts. Like I'm not going to be flipping no cards and seeing like if I know some other knowledge. It don't matter if the person is willing to handle it or not. Sometimes you got to be willing to teach people the truth. And then when they if they don't want to hear it, they got to go. They'll go on their own. If they resonate with it, they do. But maybe they'll come back. I'm one of those people. Like I came across so much stuff, guys. The hurtful stuff. Like, like you would not imagine, you get what I'm saying? And I could be a stubborn person at times, but when I saw the truth, I had just took it for what it was. And you know what I did? I went and did research on my own. I went and I stacked up the information on my own. It's out there. I had, and then when you, when a teach, when a student is available, the teacher will appear. You, when you have a question, something is going to come to give you that answer just like that. But it wasn't easy. It won't easy. You get what I'm saying? I came across people I left because I wasn't ready to hear it or whatever. And then I found my way back because when you go on your journey, you go on that journey of life and you go journey your soul and journey within, you don't, the truth don't got to be told to you over and over, like forced down your throat every other day. Like it just is what it is. It just remains. You come back around to it. However you want to put it. And that that was me, y'all. I want y'all to understand it. And I come back around and I'm just like, wow. That's who I want to be. I'm not trying to be popular. And I'm not trying to get on the bandwagon. What I am trying to do, though. I, I promise you guys what I'm trying to do, though, is I'm giving y'all the real deal. 
I don't got time to wear it down. And for the people that don't get it, they just don't get it right now. That's all it is. I can't really bend the truth of what I know. And then you can say, well, your truth is your truth. No, but some truth is just the truth, though. I can't water that down because I don't want to harm somebody's feelings or I don't want to be unpopular. No, I can give it to you, the story, in a relatable manner. Like I be saying all the time, I'll pull, like, some scripture or some storyline and I'll tell you, like, you know, this is what this meant or this is what they used. You get what I'm saying? But all the, all the while, like, you know, there's there's... You, there's always a way and a reason to go deeper and to remain in that deepness. Listen, let me tell you. Okay. Like for me, I told you guys, like if you go and you look at the video that I did on my channel when I'm talking about, you know, um, can we really leave the matrix? I said that for a reason. I know I talk... I don't be just talking just to talk, though. You get what I'm saying? I've just deciphered this information. This information has came inside of my mind's eye. You know, I like I. I've, this is not something that I just said one time. You can find me repeatedly saying certain stuff. Like if you follow me, you get what I'm saying. And it's like I said before. No, I don't really feel from the way that I see people and they interact with information and the things that they say and do. No, I feel like the matrix is a program that we exist in when we come inside of the physical plane. Point blank, period. Okay, point blank, period. And the reason why I say that is because I'm seeing people talking about other people need to lead the matrix, but they still talking about certain things in religion they still deal with religion they're still trying to say religion exists in a manner that it does they still talking about the devil you get what i'm saying they not bringing you the real deal about the fact that you are in charge of what you're going how you're going to react to something not the devil they're not you know the devil they're putting everything that went wrong in their life in humanity everything that they actively took a part in on the devil i want you to listen to this in my mind it's like how can i even have a conversation with you because once again your feet if you even maybe they don't know the truth but that's why i say the matrix you keep it you 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 upgrade you get what i'm saying you don't leave it and if you do leave it, a lot of people that saying that they let, let that that they've left it, they ain't left nothing. They still right there in it. They don't. They're still right there in it with their own attachments, and they keep putting it off. Like it's somebody else. Oh, it's that person. And they're doing this wrong, and they're 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 the ones that need to get things straight. It's like no. When I hear you talk, I'm like no, honey. You know you got a lot that you need to get straight still, but you're not acknowledging it, and that is why I come to wake them up. You get what I'm saying? I come to wake them up butterfly too light style. And I'm not the only one. There are people. You mean to tell me just because you're a car reader or you talk about spirituality or you present yourself in a certain way and you're saying that you're the only ones that's waking up humanity and doing this and that? No, I beg to differ. I see a lot of people that ain't even in the guise of spirituality. They talking facts. You get what I'm saying? They talking real knowledge. They bring in truth and they getting people to wake up on a whole nother level in a very physical way. They're doing it from different angles, different aspects. And that to me, that's more of graduating out of the matrix than somebody that's just like telling you, oh, you're in the matrix. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, I'm not talking down on that, but I'm telling you that visually, vision wise, if you're a visionist, a visionary type person, you see through the bull crap. And that's why I tell everybody, go back to yourself. Go back to yourself. Do your own research. Don't believe me? You go do it. And I tell you, take your own journey. Take your time, bruh. Take your time. Because you might, listen, when I add up all the years and all the time that I had to test something out, that I had to go back on my word, that I had to challenge myself, that I had to doubt myself, that I had to say, no, 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 no. I'm making this all up. If I had to do that, do you know how many, how long that took me? So my thing is, 
Why you keep looking for answers, like answers in one day? Knowing, maybe you can have that, but knowing that you're going to doubt those answers anyways, and then you're going to keep on doing, you're going to keep doing it wrong before you do it right. Because see, that's what, it's the way that we've been taught. We've been literally sold the game backwards. That's why I said the game is to be told, not sold. Because until we redo or undo the game that we thought was the real game, we not going to, we's always going to be people that's ahead and people that's behind. Because the people that's ahead, they're on the real game. And the people that's behind, they on the fake game. And they faking, okay? They fake pimps, players. They fake everything. They fake, fake aggression, fake hardness, fake realness. They don't even know what real is. You get what I'm saying? They keep talking about, well, the more I, I, I do this, I do that, you come up in my face, I'm going to slap you down. Like, they, they perpetrate and hate and, and violence and aggression towards their own family members and their own children. And listen, let me tell you something. I'm not above reproach, baby. I've been guilty of this myself. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying, they're, like, people, they're doing all these things. And, and while everybody else, looks upon them and is like wow you can't even get your family straightened out like you can't even have a relationship amongst each other how you gonna tell somebody to then come in and respect you why are we gonna buy why are we gonna buy for you when we can just let you still be on your foolishness and then we can be up on our game and we can come in and we can open a business smack dab in the middle of your foolishness and make money off of your foolishness and your ignorance why do we have to go through you for anything you don't exist. And the more you try to exist by continuing on with the fakeness, the more you don't exist to us. Because you don't even respect yourself. You don't know nothing about your ancestors. You don't even know nothing about your, your, your true spirituality and identity. You get what I'm saying? Not as a natural person. Not as a natural being. Not as the mothers and fathers of society itself. You're supposed to have mastered earth by now. Like what are you talking about? You know like it, it just really goes deep. It just goes so deep and it, and it saddens me man. It just, it just disheartens me. Why I have to run from the people in my own commit, like in my own lineage. I have to take my child to a school or a system that don't want her in it to ensure her safety and ensure her education, whatever, whatever. And to me, to be frank, to be frank, to be honest, yeah, for all of us, all of us. You know, our kids, it's not doing our kids any justice from some of the stuff that they're learning and they're being taught and this fate watered down stuff. But let me tell you something. So either way, it don't make me feel good. It don't. But I'm saying that how do I like fix my mouth to say like, oh, yeah, I feel much better sending my child somewhere where they don't even want them at. You get what I'm saying? How? How? Do I feel better about knowing that? And I, you know what? I can't even come down hard on somebody that would think that way. I can't. Because it's like you do, you know, you do want to ensure your child's safetyness and like the proper upbringing for them. But it's just not doing them any good if all the way around the board you not, you don't know nothing to really teach. You can't be, the first teacher is the mother and the father. Or the guardian that's going to stand in that place. So whenever you give your child over to any teacher, any establishment, any pastor, any uh, whoever you give your child over to, you're putting them in a position to say, I trust you to instill in my child in the way that they should go. What's healthy for them? What's right for them? And the problem is, is that the whole system that was created wasn't created to ensure that that's what's going to take place. You get what I'm saying? So because of that, it don't matter. Anybody in place that could have the right intentions, it goes downhill from there. It goes null and void from there because they don't even, they have not been equipped with the right information that's really going to help your child. They don't even know, okay? And if they do, they don't still 
Because it's based off of a false sense of reality. A false sense of stability. It's just based off a of false sense, false news, fake news, fake butt, fake everything. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. There ain't nothing wrong with none of that. But listen, I'm telling you, half of these people, if they got to the core of who they really are, if they really got to the core of who they really were, they wouldn't be doing it in the first place. And this, these are the people that we're following. It ain't to judge them. I don't know. People can say all they want. They hate Cardi B and Cardi B. Is that. I'm telling you, whoever Cardi B's ghostwriters are, I mean, they be cold with it. I be listening to some Cardi B songs. That's how much I don't judge people. But I'm telling you, though, we, you, when, when do we get to the point of where we stop saying, oh, well, this person is bad. This person is evil. But yet, that's what we're resembling. That's what, when do we get to the point of where we become stronger we become stronger than what this image that they're trying to get us to portray. This is what I'm talking about. When you're talking to me, talk to me about this or don't talk to me at all. You get what I'm saying? It's like, when do we stop giving the power over to other people to say what needs to happen and what don't need to happen? And by this time, like the system is really overflowing with these cancers everywhere, all the way around. You get what I'm saying? In the food, in the air, we... The oxygen we breathe. In the the history that we have. In the knowledge that we learn. And people want to keep saying, oh, well, I want to wear my Louis Vuittons. You get what I'm saying? We keep putting these people in front of us where we look at them on a the red carpet. They want to wear their Gucci belt. You get what I'm saying? That's what makes them feel like they're more valuable than us or you. You get what I'm saying? And that's what the cancer is. That's what the cancer is. We keep making them somebody. When they don't even know who they are and they're using these things to make them somebody. You hear me? Somebody. And that's what I'm talking about. And it's unbelievable to me. I'm not talking about, none, I'm not talking down on none of these things. Go buy these things. Go do these things. But I'm saying like, if you don't know, if these things make you and you don't make the things, you already lost yourself. You already lost in the sauce. You're faking and you're baking and you're perpetrating. Because you don't really own anything. You want to drive around and look good and be Gucci down to the socks, but you don't own nothing. You don't own nothing. Something is wrong with that. Okay. And it's not about judging it. It's just about calling it what it is. Like, when do we get past this crap? Like when it's like, we can't even relate to each other enough to come together because and this is this is what the universe is doing for us the universe is like you won't have no relationship that lasts your kids won't never respect you do you hear what i'm saying until you restore the balance until you restore things back into the proper way that it's supposed to go and yes that's what i'm talking about your kids ain't you won't never have no respect okay this is what i'm talking about this right here And I go on, guys. I go on. And y'all know. Y'all know. They're, like When I'm talking like this, pretty soon I'm going to start putting this together more to where we can have more um, elaborate interactions about this type of stuff. But like I said, this is just for like me. Like I'm, I'm going off of um, my intuition here. I'm an intuitive speaker. And when I start getting like people that want to come on and they want to be talk to excuse me interview and they want to bring their information and stuff like that that's fine hit me up in my email because i'm all about that but what i'm saying is that we this right now you this is the time to learn yourself you need to stop trying to chase down other people and learn them and you know and subscribe to that garbage and it's time to really learn yourself like really learn what's going on here you gotta research you gotta meditate you gotta get in that space to where you can meditate and you can ask the questions and you can say, I want to know the truth. And guess what? It's going to come to you. This is not the time to be ducking, running, and hiding. Hiding your heads, hiding your wives, whatever. It's not the time for that. Because like I said, you off in Disneyland getting screwed. Screwed behind your back. It's a false sense of any. It's a false sense of coping is what I'm saying. 
And I'm not talking against the not go do any of these things or participate in any of these things, but I'm just saying like you it's it's how do you how do we turn our backs to what we really need to fix? I we need to get back to where like I said, and I see this taking place though. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give um acknowledgement to where I where I see progression. I really am. And I see this taking place like People want to keep talking about when our when our fellow brothers and sisters need help and stuff like that. Oh, you need to go get on the system. You need to go get help to the system. And they're just like, nah. Like, but I'm asking you for help that we can come together and we can start um, creating revenue avenues for each other to build off on. And we can show them like, no, this is what we're capable of as the people. But my thing is what I'm trying to tell and I'm trying to uh, really how I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get across, the point I'm trying to make, though, is, like, like, if you, to, to talk about saying anything straight, to talk about that, and to be already in position to receive that, you gotta be able to deal with the truth. You gotta be able to know who you really are to receive it, because you won't receive what you don't claim. And I'm telling you, this is even in love. This is in, even in your relationships. You gotta be open to knowing what you're capable of receiving before you can really receive it. See, a lot of you women, y'all want to go around, y'all want to get dogged out. You see what I'm saying? You want to be so available. You want to say, oh, I'm, I, I can't, I can't be lonely for two seconds, for two days, for two months, for two years. You see what I'm saying? I got to have this man up under me. Like I, I, yeah, he, he ain't, he ain't, there's nothing. I couldn't, if having a child with him is really out of the question. Cause see, I know that he he ain't responsible. I know that he not going to do what he need to do. He going to run out and he going to be doing this and he going to be doing all that. I know all of this already. But you know what though? It don't matter because see, I feel like having this child, that's only going to make him want me even more. That's going to make him step up to the plate and make him do better. No, 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 honey. And it's all because you don't want to take the time to get yourself together. In order to know what else is possible. Okay? To know you can't even be open to anything more. It's kind of like that little girl. Like, the you know, the little Malia Davis case. With her mom. I think her mom's name is Brittany or whatever. It's like that. It's like. When you dig into what happened, you know, the, the little girl goes missing. Somebody, they don't know where she is. We know she's dead and the body's missing and all this and all that. The mother, the mother, okay, the mother that biologically had this child was already being watched, observed, you know, Followed by um, DSS, you know, the whole um, social services on grounds of the child being abused and things of that nature before. The mother knew that the stepfather, this wasn't even the father of this little girl, knew that he was doing things to the little girl like molesting her, abusing her, all of that. Posa had her dropped off at the daycare, was bringing her back home to the house instead of doing what he was supposed to do. Knew all of that. Still was good in, was being engaged to get married to this man. I want you to hear this. Still engaged to be married to this man. And then she finds out. Oh, he's sending nude pictures or receiving them from another man. Oh, now I've had it. Now I've had it. It didn't matter what he did to my child, but now I've had it. You see what I'm saying? All because, oh, I'm just defenseless, defenseless and I need a man. And then you want to turn around and blame it on the men for you allowing them to treat you the way that you do. And then you want to turn around and blame it on them. 
You didn't have no pride and confidence and respect for yourself. You didn't have no pride, no confidence and respect for your child. Then why would they turn around and grow up and respect you? No, they're going to turn around. They're going to grow up and they're going to repeat the same unnecessary, unprivileged cycles that you did. That's what's going to happen. You know, and like, and, and this is really about Malia. It's really about the child. You know, I'm, I'm speaking in defense of the child because as adults, at least we have a choice to say, okay, I'm going to be in this situation. Or I'm not going to be in this situation, but this is how sick we are. This is where our minds are in a sickened place. We look towards all these other things to cope. And we allow just the, like, the most abnormal things to take place. And it's, just, it's like I said, it's like I said, until we deal with this, until we deal with this, until we face these situations head on, this is what we're going to keep getting. We're going to get more and more of this. And, like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, you don't even, uh, uh, women... Like, y'all will take y'all's child that you don't, like, and you will meet a man. And you don't even know anything about this man. Nothing about his history. Nothing about who he is. Or you do know and you ignore it. And then you will take your child, your defenseless child, defenseless child, and you will stick them under the authority over this person. Under this person. Talking about some be the leader. You can't even lead yourself. You can't even lead yourself into the right direction to make a better decision for you and your child. You get what I'm saying? And it's like half of these men that y'all keep talking about need to lead the household. They don't even know how to lead themselves. They don't know the truth about themselves. And they tell you over and over again. You keep wanting to stick them in these positions. And they tell you by the way they show you that you ain't crap. That they can't lead you. But that's another that's another discussion. That's another topic. Okay. And half of these time, like, like these women that's running off with some of these type men, I'm like throwing it back in my face, our face. Like, oh, well, I got, I'm better because now I got you. I'd be like, honey, good luck. Good luck. You know. But like I said. Because I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers on what I'm saying. And that, that doesn't matter. My whole thing is, how do we get back? Like, and, and whatever took place, whatever systematically took take place. Because I people can say all day long, oh, nothing was plotted and planned. You got to do this. You got to do that. That's why I always go back to the point of when I say you created this. I'm saying you stay, even though now, even after knowing that, yeah, some of the police ain't gonna come to your defense. Even after knowing that you got screwed over by society, crack was planted in the neighborhoods, whatever you want. False images was put in our um, way to, to want to be like, to want to gravitate towards, to whatever. False sense of identity, whatever. At this point, though, how do we do it different, though? How, like, at this point, it's not about letting that remain. How do we do it different? And it takes some elaborate planning. Like, it takes some people that really can come together and really make a difference and reteach our youth and reconnect with our ancestors, though. Because that's where the answers lie. And no, 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 no. See, I know it's not about saving everybody, but it's about getting those people together that can start living this way and having it benefit for us and then other people see. That's what it takes. That's what it really takes. And that's what we got to do. But my thing, you got to listen, we got to start researching. Like I said, if anybody want to shoot me over some materials that I could read into, that I could come share on my platform or whatever. Let's do that. You know, let, like, go ahead. Hit me up in my email, butterflytolight11 at gmail.com. And y'all know what it is. Okay? So, we got to, listen, everybody that's watching this, I need for you to challenge yourself to go research a book. 
I'm going to come back the next time and I'm going to have a book. Maybe I can come and bring you guys some information that you can look into yourself um, as well to like send you in the right place. But I'm saying go look into some information, watch some documentaries, whatever. And, you know, on law, have any of y'all really read the Constitution? Like, listen, someone put me on to it. And I was reading the Constitution and I'm just like, whoa. We're not taught this in school. But I'm saying, go and, and get yourself into some knowledge that's different from what you were being given. You're not ever really going to find the truth. Let me tell you something. The way to hide the truth is in the plain sight. I might tell you, I might be cheating on you right now and tell you, I'm not cheating on you. Look at my phone. Knowing I got a whole nother phone to where I get contact with the people that I want to cheat with. Not knowing I already deleted my the, the, the messages and the videos and all that out of my phone. That's why I'm giving it to you. You see what I'm saying? But I could be telling you, hey, here it is. Here's the information. Here's my phone. And what I'm telling you is that you're not going to always find the truth in something that someone's given to you. It's going to be part of the truth, a large amount of truth, but it may not be the real truth, though. So you got to look. You have to be able to. People done went around, put bits and pieces together of truth and knowledge here and there, identity, lineage, whatever here and there. But they, just like they went around doing that, sometimes you got to go and you got to be able to go around to rediscover what that was to put your own pieces together. Because time is running out for the nonsense. And people mistake passion and importance for aggression and negativity. But it is what it is. But I'm going to stop right there. It's your girl, Butterfly to Light, as always. I will be back. Stay blessed and learn something. Peace.